Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a day in the life of a realtor type vlog. There really is no average day in the life of a realtor because every single day is different. Some days I'm on appointments from morning to night and not sitting down for a single second and then other days I'm in the office all day. Some days it's a little bit of both. And today I was in the office earlier all day working on things um, for my clients that type of thing and now it's afternoon and I'm gonna be prospecting. So that's really what this video is gonna be is um, like a prospect with me and what I'm gonna be doing today is calling some for sale by owners. I'm gonna work um, a little bit on expired listings, adding some mailers to those and then I'm also gonna be showing you guys um, a cute little pop-by idea that I'm gonna use for past clients, sphere, and leads. So I'm gonna make myself some tea and get cozy and then we will jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to work on my pop-by idea first and I'll show you guys. Um, I have these stickers made by One Day Sign here in Salem and this is what they say. Super cheesy, I know, but it's okay. It says, just popping by to say hi, and then it has my information on it. So, yeah, so, and then I went to Walmart and bought a few packs of these in bulk, and I'm going to, actually, I got this idea on Pinterest, so it's not my original idea or anything. I'm just stealing it but I'm going to take, okay, so I'm gonna take the bag of popcorn and I'm gonna take each uh, sticker and just stick it right in the middle of the popcorn bag. Ah, so cute. I plan to just have a cardboard box in my car and I'm going to leave all of these in that box at all times ready to go so that um, I'm not gonna go out of my way to like drive to people's houses to deliver these things. But when I'm in the area, when I'm showing a house in the area, or when I'm going to a listing appointment or doing whatever in the area of um, one of my past clients, someone who's in my sphere of influence, or um, I've even done little things like this for for sale by owner leads when I was in the area of their house, um, for sale by owners that I've already met before that are just like long-term leads that I'm following up with, and, and I've had good results with that. So whenever I'm in the area of someone's house, I will, um, so whenever I'm in the area of a past client lead that I'm following up with, sphere of influence or whoever's house, I will just drop it off at their doorstep. I have a lot of these to make, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna be working on. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually something that I had recorded earlier while I was at the office. And I just wanted to show you guys this because in my last video that I posted talking about prospecting to expired listings, I showed you, or I don't think I showed you, but I talked about a couple of the mailers that I was sending them. I believe I was sending each expired listing four or five uh, mailers total at the end of the day. And um, like over, the, over a period of time. And I was thinking, and I, right now, we're about to go into the holiday season, and so because of that, I think that a lot of these expired listings are probably gonna wait longer to put their house back on the market. So they're probably gonna be more long-term expired listings. Um, a lot of the houses that are expiring right now that I'm sending mail to. So um, because of that, I figured I'm gonna need some more mail to send to them so that I can be sending them, uh, sending things in the mail to them for a longer period of time and make it last longer and stretch it out, if that makes sense. I hope I explained that in a way that makes sense. Um, I'm just showing you guys a few of the mailers that I added to the list um, of mail that I'm sending to each expired listing. <laughs> is I sit down every Sunday and I plan out my my days for the week. So I write my schedule for Monday through Friday and or Saturday if I'm working on Saturday or whatever. So I um, will put it all in the notes in my phone 
and let me see here so what i'm doing right now before i call for sale by owners i'm checking my schedule to see what day i have open this week um where i have openings in my schedule that i could plan that way when i'm talking on the phone to them i can have a day in mind already and i don't have to um like call them back or, or stall or um hesitate or anything like that so let's see here i'm thinking thursday is the day so see this is how i do it i just say like thursday and then this appointment here this appointment here and then there's time chunks in between that i'm going to fill right now with for sale by owners Hey, I'm calling about your home for sale in Sweet Home. Are you the owner? I am. Yes. Awesome. Is that still available? Oh, which one are you talking about? I actually have two that are listed right now. Oh, okay. On Tam Tamarack? Right. That is available, yes. Okay. So the reason I'm calling is because I'm actually a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway and was okay. just wondering what I could do for you. Um, well, um, if you have a buyer, I guess we could talk. Um, this particular home, there's not much uh, content left in it, so I'd probably be reluctant to uh, pay a fee out of that um, sale price. But if you had a buyer who was willing to pay more, then that would be fine. Gotcha. How, how long have you been trying to sell for? Which property are we talking about? The one on uh, Tamarack. On, I think a week ago. About a week. I'm sorry, it went, it went on earlier this week. When did it go on? It might have gone on Friday or something like that. Okay. Okay, so that's not too long. Have you, have you been getting a lot of interest? Um, yeah, not too bad. You know, I get um, a few calls a day. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're able to raise your price by a high enough price where you still walk away with at least the same amount, if not more, and then you just sell quicker because you know, the more exposure sure. and the financing sure. and all of that, so. Sure, where are you located? Our main office is out of Salem, but I do quite a bit of work in your area as well. So maybe when these things are getting close to market, I think it's gonna take at least a month um, to get any of them ready, um, but maybe that'd be a good time for you to come out. Definitely, I would, I would be more than happy to come out and give you a free market analysis and you know answer any other questions you have about the selling process and uh, just get it sold for you. Sure. Are you with an agency or you have your own shop? Or? Um, I'm with Berkshire Hathaway. Okay. Which um, they, I mean, they really, we have the most exposure out of anywhere. We put your place on over 3,000 different websites nationwide um, as well as globally. <laughs> um, a lot of uh, a great referral uh, location so we have a lot of cash buyers coming from out of state looking for a place like yours kind of thing right. Um, right. just a lot of exposure I mean really maximum exposure to every qualified buyer um, as well as realtor uh -huh. in the market uh -huh. where did you find me on Zillow I'm guessing or Craigslist I found your home on Craigslist okay um, if you want to reply to that that's fine if you want to text me at this number how did you get my number then um, my number, oh, my number it was, was on Craigslist. Okay, got it. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Because I think Craig, Craigslist had this thing where you could be contacted by phone or by text. Yeah. I was getting the uh, voicemails, and I, I, I couldn't figure out how to check the voicemails. Oh. Uh, I just stopped checking that box. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, yeah, okay. That, yes, you got my number. Yes, I have your number, so I will text you my information right now. Um, and, uh, awesome. So just give me a call if you're, you, you know, want to talk more about what we do and if our services would work for you right now or not. And, um, yeah, good, good luck with everything. That's really awesome that you're happy to work with brokers, I guess. Um, I guess, um, yeah, I'm open to that. Let's, let's stay in touch. I would love, uh, to, you know, if this is, the right route for you, I would love to help you sell, get the most that you possibly can out of this place, you know? Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. awesome. I'll, I'll send you my information right now and just give me a call if you if you wanna talk more about it um, at another okay. time. That sounds good, so give me your contact. Um, also, I just throw this out there. I mean, I'm interested really in buying mobile home parks. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I, 
I just got off the phone with that for sale by owner and he wanted more information. He, well, he wanted my information. So I'm going to um, text him right now and say um, to Alec, hey Alec, thanks for talking with me today. Um, here's my information. Think about it, let me know um, if you want to talk more about our services and what we could do to help you out. And then I will follow up with him. Um, I'll make a note now on my phone to follow up with him in a week or so and see where he's at. I'm gonna end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. If you're a realtor and you live outside of Oregon and you have a client moving to Oregon, send them my way. I'd love to give you a referral fee. And um, don't forget to leave any questions that you have down in the comments below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in my next video.